Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to A Living Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monet. And before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone. So over the weekend, Nicki Minaj performed at the Essence Festival, and there was a lot of talk about drama, her throwing shade, and some people think that she's pregnant with her second child because it did look like in some pictures and from some angles that people caught that she was rocking a baby bump. Now, before I get into that, I do want to talk about her overall performance and her outfit changes. Now, she did have an intro video. It was giving me very much so Catwoman vibes, sexy Catwoman. I was like, okay, Nikki, give us something before the show even starts. I feel like she had multiple outfit changes. She came out looking amazing and she changed a few times and she would take breaks in between our sets. And I feel like every time she changed her outfit, she looked great. I love that hair on her. Blonde on Nikki looks really good. The makeup was on point. And one thing you can never say about Nikki is that face card is never on decline. She always looks good. The makeup was beat. Nicki Minaj also played some of her biggest hits and some of her mixtape hits. I love that she performed Feeling Myself. She also performed Itty Bitty Piggy. She also performed some of the songs that she was featured on. And a lot of people used to say, well, oh, Nicki Minaj was the remix queen or the feature queen. People could say what they want, but she was featured on a lot of hit songs and her verses were always fire. But when she did get into her feature set and she started playing those songs, I was like, you know what? If Nicki Minaj was ever to do a versus battle, she would solely win based on the fact that she has killed every single feature that she's been on. She will win a versus just off of features. And I really do give Nicki Minaj her credit for that. Nicki Minaj has showcased over and over again why she is the queen of rap and why she has earned that title over the years. She didn't really get into her pop bag because she didn't have to. Nicki has enough rap hits and hip hop songs in order to carry her. And that just shows her versatility and how diverse she is as an artist. She can do both. So I feel like her overall sets and her overall songs that she performed was good. Now, a lot of people had things to say about her body and people felt like Nicki Minaj is pregnant because from certain angles, it did look like she had a little pouch. She had a little baby bump going on. Now, Nicki hasn't announced if she was pregnant or not. However, it does look like she's sporting a little pouch. Now, if she is pregnant, it may be early in her pregnancy where she's not ready to announce it yet. Or she just had a taco or a burrito or something before she came on stage. She had a good meal. She ate. She was comfortable put her outfit on and still gave a good show. Or she just could have been bloated. It might be this time of the month for her and we all know as women that can happen. If she is pregnant, congratulations to her, her husband and Papa Bear. I know Nicki Minaj wants a family. So good luck to them both. If she does come out and announce it, if not, it is what it is. She still look great. Now in other news, Nicki Minaj shaded Kanye West when she said she was monstered out. She skipped over that song when it was time to play. Take a listen. Nikki says she's monstered out. She don't mess with clowns. We not playing clown music. We do not do clown time. You are not it, okay? And a lot of people are saying that she dissed Kanye West and Cardi B because we all know Cardi B just came out with the new song called Hot Ish and it does feature Kanye West. People are also saying that she's upset that their song New Body never came out, but he did a song with Cardi B. So I can see if she's upset about that. Now, Nicki Minaj was also upset about people playing with her money. <laughs> Now, Nikki said on stage, people messed up her money and people messed up her clothes, but she still came out for her fans and she did thank Essence Festival. A lot of people said that she was throwing shade at Hulu when she said that because Hulu was supposed to stream her performance live on their site. However, when it was time to before her performance, they announced that she wouldn't be streaming on their site or streaming along like the other performers were able to, which was very shady because a lot of the barbs got Hulu just to see Nicki Minaj perform that evening. And a lot of people overseas got the app to see her. So I do feel like she was upset with Hulu. Like y'all tried me, y'all are not about to stream my music and my performance without paying me and giving me my right due. What she isn't wrong. She's a businesswoman and an artist at the end of the day. Y'all can't just say, well, oh, we were streaming everybody else. So we're going to stream her too for free. 
No, you're going to pay that woman. But you let me know how you feel about the performance all down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video. And until next time, bye.